when he said that's the thing. That's his favorite part. The appliances have arrived. I feel like I need to whisper. Like I'm in the library or something. Only a few falls. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to part four of the home renovations here. As you saw at the end of the last vlog, electric is hooked up. Lumos, we have light. Let there be light. Today is insulation. So they're gonna insulate the entire area, all the walls, and they actually just arrived. So take a look, here they are backing into the driveway. So Adam said that insulation is super messy. They don't use a foam insulation, but it is like a spray insulation. So like it gets really like dusty and fibery everywhere. Um, so they've set up different fans at different windows. So like this is gonna pull all those fibers out and there are some other locations too. So let's see what they're gonna do. This is the bathroom here. We got a pub room and then there's a laundry here. So we, yeah, we want to isolate all this yeah. and all that Maddie. for sound. Okay. And then over here, um, we have smart penetrations. Mm -hmm. That's self explanatory That doesn't need anything. This is a fireplace. Okay. So just act like this isn't here. Mm -hmm. You know, do the box space. Mm -hmm. um, we have garage over on this side. Um, you can see we have a little air gap there yeah. too. So it's mm -hmm. still fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then of course the windows. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let them get set up and then I'll film some of the, the process of blowing in the insulation. I'm curious to see myself. But while they're getting set up, so the switches are temporary and kind of what they control are also a little bit temporary, but dun dun dun, -dun we have electricity. And then over here, lights. Camera, action baby. And then over here, this controls all of the other lights in this space. Check this out. Wait, do it again. <laughs> it's like 2000 CFM. Gonna keep it nice and clear. If you missed the last three vlogs of this project, check the description down below. It will post them there for you. So they're about ready to start blowing the insulation. Here are the tubes. Looks like there's like two different sizes. So this we'll find out why in a second, but they've got like all of the cracks and stuff have been insulated with the spray foam. They're adding this, um, this mesh that's gonna hold the insulation in, I think. And this hole here, this was where in the original kitchen, because it was a full-size fridge, it actually bumped into the garage a little bit so that it would fit. But since we don't need that space anymore, we're actually gaining a good amount of space in the garage where that bump out was, so that was taken out. Just like magic. So they're covering this area with this mesh as well, and they're gonna fill that up with some soundproofing insulation since the main HVAC system runs through that area to help keep it a little bit more quiet. And then up here we have the mesh too. So that whole area will be filled up with insulation. They gave me a mask as I'm filming this because I guess the particles fly over the voice. So I'm all masked up and ready to film. There's the foam coming out and it's mixing with water, which is what I think is allowing it to stick. And I wonder if it gets recycled. So the gentleman inside here, he's filling up this machine. You can see all the insulation going through the pipe. And this guy's going over it with this device that takes off the excess insulation. So that this is what it looks like after it's all been blown in. It is dusty. This whole wall here has always been really, really cold in the winter. So it's gonna be really nice to have a warm room this winter. All the skeletons are running away from the insulation. They're like, get me out of here! 
And this guy's like, is it done yet? So I actually just found out that the insulation has glue on it. And then by mixing the water, that activates the glue, which allows it to all stick to each other. Really, really cool. So, to group construction, they're the company that has been doing all of the work for this reno. It's been really great so far, really clean. So if you're looking to do some renos on your house, check out DeGroot Construction. And if you do end up meeting with them, make sure you let them know the Potter Collector sent you. It's really tightly packed too, like I'm just very lightly touching it, and it's like really tight. The insulators have left, and this is now insulated. So let's take a look at the insulation. And what's crazy is there's like no echo or anything in this room anymore because the insulation is absorbing the echo. Oh, I didn't realize that they were doing this. That's actually cool to see because it's essentially like there's drywall up and it's creating a wall. All right, let's take a look. Everything's nice and clean. But here is the insulation all over the walls. And this is what I was talking about right there. That's the bathroom and laundry room. So essentially, that's kind of what it'll feel like. Obviously, it's not gonna be gray and textured. It'll be white, but that's kind of a feel for what the space is gonna look like. It's crazy to like hear me talk and there's no echo because there's been an echo for so long. Here is the bathroom and the bathroom door. Do to do, da da da. <gasps> Let's go to the bathroom. Let's just wash our hands, shall we? Washing our hands. So cool, it's actually so quiet. And once the drywall is up, like this makes a big difference when it comes to sound. So when you're, you know, using the toilet, nobody's gonna hear you. The HVAC area is all secure, so it looks like they just poked holes and that's how they blew the insulation in. And then all around here, insulated, and in here. Very, very fun. So tomorrow I'm probably not gonna film. It's going to be the inspection day for the insulation. And then next week is drywall. Drywall was supposed to start today, but because of the mass amount of electricity, they needed a few extra days to do that. So drywall is now starting on Monday and will go for like over a week. So it's gonna be really exciting to see the walls start to be up. And this is really giving a feel for what it's gonna look like space-wise. So that is the end of day 46. And I probably won't be seeing you guys until next week unless something happens tomorrow that I want to share with you guys. It's day 47. I've got something to share with you guys. And I've got this mask back on, which can only mean one thing, insulation. So the insulation guys are back. Um, I decided to do the ceiling because it's a great sound barrier as well as a temperature control. So for the ceiling, they have to put the, that same mesh up and instead of using water, they just pump in the dry insulation just like an attic. And they just kind of pack it in and it insulates the whole area. As you can see, the entire ceiling is now covered in this mesh, which will hold the insulation in place. It's also gonna help with the bathroom too because the washer dryer will be in here, so that'll help silence when laundry's being done. It's like it's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> The fan is sucking all that dust out. All right, so the insulators have left. They're done with the ceiling. And the reason I'm just standing up here is because I want to talk to you guys for a second real quick. So yesterday I was talking to Derek, who's one of the owners of DeGroot Construction, and I sent him a video of the insulators spraying the insulation in. And he said he's excited for me to experience his favorite part of renovations, which is coming up. So I replied to him and I said, is it drywall? Because that's the next step. And he said, no, but you'll know when it happens. And I didn't know what it was, but I knew what it was. And it was the silence that I heard, the silence that I heard when I walked into the space after it had been insulated. And I actually talked to you guys about that yesterday in the vlog. So then yesterday we were texting again after I had experienced it and he said, what did you think about the silence? And that's when he said, that's the thing. That's his favorite part is when you walk into the space and you know, you hear a lot of echoes cause everything's open. And then all of a sudden it's like silence and calm. So today, 
Adam, the other owner of DeGroote Construction, said, just you wait until the ceilings are done too, because the silence is even more crazy, like you can't hear a pin drop. So, now we're gonna go down and experience it for the first time together. I've not been downstairs to hear it yet, but we're gonna go hear it right now. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm just gonna start walking. I could take a nap, it's so quiet. Whoa, even my voice, what the heck? <gasps> oh, I can't even hear my voice. Like I can't even hear myself talking. It's like I'm hearing myself in my head. That's so weird. So we were going down the stairs. <laughs> I'm slipping. So we were going down the stairs. Like I can hear noise, cause you know, there's echo up in here. But then once you get past here, silence. Wow, this is magic. But I feel like I need to whisper. Like I'm in the library or something. This is cool. This is very cool. All right, so here we are in the laundry room and I'm still whispering. I still feel like we need to whisper. This is gonna make such a huge difference in sound upstairs. Again, temperature control. And this is flame resistant too. So the library, which is right up here, I'm gonna feel a little bit safer. Obviously there's, you know, wood that can burn and stuff, but I would assume that with this all tightly packed and stuff, there'd be less oxygen for fire to grow. I don't know. I might be making that up, but it makes me feel better, so if that's not a thing, don't tell me because I feel really good about it. So there you go. We are fully insulated. This also gives me a good feel of what the space is gonna feel like because we now have like a ceiling essentially. And I was worried that once the drywall went up, it would feel really low. It doesn't really feel low. I actually like the feeling of it. It feels cozy, but also kind of modern. I know modern is like taller ceilings and stuff, but for some reason, this just feels very modern. And I like that. Maybe it's like the straight lines in the corners or something, I don't know. For some reason, this space just feels very modern. Like I can hear myself think. My grandma used to say that she could hear the silence. It's like, I know what she was saying. <sighs> I wish I could call her right now and say, hey, Grandma, I know what you were saying with hearing the silence, because I can hear the silence. She would have been really excited to see this. All right, y'all, that is the end of this day. I will see you next week for when drywall begins, and then the silence will be gone. But I'll enjoy this over the weekend. Day 52, it's a Wednesday. On Monday, drywall was delivered, so lots and lots of drywall. But it's now Wednesday, and a lot happened real fast. You're already seeing drywall on the ceiling, on the walls. They did so, they almost did the entire ceiling and some walls yesterday, which was Tuesday, day 51. So let's take a look at the drywall, and then we'll go to the garage because the appliances have been delivered. The appliances have arrived. Do, do, do. Wow. My hug. All right, you're gonna be, yeah. Can I go down a little more here? I can help you here. So I'll show you guys, they're just boxes, but show you guys what's there. Missing two appliances, which are coming later, but they're here. The appliances are here. Oh, some additional electrical stuff happened, so that's exciting. All right, let me flip the camera around and give you an update. First things first, let's look at the electrical. So this is the, the basement staircase, and there's a light switch here and a light there. So the light, like had conduit that just came out of that hole and then like was attached to the, the wall. So it just looked really weird. So now it looks as it should, just coming out of the wall like that. But something very exciting happened. They didn't think they were gonna be able to put an outlet on this wall because the floor all the way down here is a steel beam and up top on the ceiling is a solid steel beam. So there's really nowhere for electricity to come from, but they got an outlet in when drywall was here they took out this little section here and then it was discovered that you know there's this wire here or whatever and I'm assuming the electrician Tim tapped into wherever this is coming from and ran a new line here which is now going to serve as an outlet on this wall so that's super exciting all right so drywall look at the ceiling everybody went up so so fast so we have pretty much the entire ceiling completed just a little spot here and there do 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 da 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 oh look at this <gasps> look <gasps> wow look at that 
So that's very exciting. This is gonna be my coffee bar. And then we've got some more walls, sheet rocked in. And then over here, the closet, the entry closet is pretty much done. Obviously it's not taped and mudded yet, but the sheetrock itself is done. So yeah, it's just going really fast, you guys. Like, really fast. Here's the bathroom. Oh wow, they did a ton. Holy moly cannoli. Wow. So I didn't film anything yesterday on day 51 after they had left. They just went to lunch. So it's 12 o'clock. They've been here for a couple hours and they've already gotten a ton done. This door right here is, I think, the frosted glass door. Yeah, because it has this film on it here. So this is the frosted glass door, which will be in this section here. So when I first saw the drywall up, it was a little shocking because I've lived with the open walls, all the open walls up for like a month now, actually more than a month now. So it felt like, oh my goodness, this is so small. Then when I came back downstairs, after that initial shock, I'm like, oh wait, this is not small. This is still very open. And then my vision came back, essentially. It's like my vision went away. It's like, oh my goodness, did I visualize everything incorrectly? But then it's like, no, that's exactly how I visualized it. Just flow. I keep saying it, y'all. Flow, flow, flow. All right, so for appliances, we have a GE microwave. And then with it, there's the microwave trim kit, so it'll look like it's built in. Scotsman ice maker for the bar. 48 inch wolf beautiful range this is the hood for the exhaust and then a 48 inch sub zero refrigerator this thing is gigantosaurus they had to tip it really low to get under the garage door clearing so i don't know how they're going to get it into the house when they have to get into the house but they're going to like tip it on its side and i don't know the thing that's missing is the dishwasher which is a box dishwasher and then a sub-zero mini fridge for next to the ice maker in the coffee bar area so those are the appliances dun, dun, dun. this door right here is the side door so here I'll show you what door this is gonna be replacing this is one of the ones with the ice maker and water dispenser on the outside I'm really hoping I don't regret buying one that's on the outside because it's not as clean looking but I think it'll be okay. So I guess we'll find out. I feel like that is one of the few things that I was like mm, about, so I'm not sure. We'll see how it looks, hopefully it's okay. So that door is gonna replace this one here, which is, you know, in the little coffee bar area. For those who've been asking, the birdies are doing well in their temporary new home here in the guest room. I did some cleanup the last few days. This is all Potter collector sale stuff, you guys. Like. It's gonna be a big, big sale. Full of magical goodies and books and all that stuff. I'm not sure if the Potter Collector sale has already happened by the time you're watching this, but if it hasn't happened, make sure you are following the Potter Collector on Instagram because that's where I advertise the Potter Collector sale the most. And probably where I'm going to just stick with advertising the Potter Collector sale because last time I advertised it on both Instagram and YouTube, it was the last sale. Y'all crashed the website and it was this big mess and people were mad at me and I felt terrible. So I'm going back to Instagram only for advertising the Potter Collector sale. Obviously I'm talking about it here, but I'm not gonna be like, hey, the Potter Collector sale is this day here on a YouTube video. So make sure you're following the Potter Collector on Instagram. So if you're watching this towards the end of October, it's a good chance the sale has not yet happened. All right, let's see an update. So fun to flip a switch. I actually don't know <laughs> what was, oh, we got some more up here. That's done. It's feeling like a house. It's fun to see the fireplace, but look at this. The skylight area, drywalled in. It's just so fun to see something like this, you know, come together. Come together! This, by the way, I didn't show you guys. This is the floor. The new flooring. I found out today that we're delayed with drywall, which is unfortunate. Um, they are having some labor issues. Some of the crew decided to take off this week, which is unfortunate that they decided to take off this week. So drywall is gonna push pretty far into next week, which was already scheduled for the flooring, which means that's gonna be pushed into the next week. 
So we're getting into delayed category, which is, you know, it's to be expected, a project like this. And um, I didn't honestly expect there to not be any delays, but it's just sad when everything's been right on time for there to just suddenly be delays. Um, there's a delay with the electricity because there was so much work to do. Now there's the delay with the drywall because of the labor issue. So it's probably not gonna be done by Thanksgiving, but again, kind of to be expected. We'll see what day 53 has in store. Ah, uh, but just look at this door. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys what's gonna happen in this surround and also the backsplash in this area. I wanted to show you guys some of the skeletons that I set up. So here's this guy climbing up on the roof. It's another guy up top there. He's getting real high. He's peeking around the side. He's climbing up the pole. Of course, you already saw this guy, but I put corn stalks and pumpkins up and then kind of made it look like he's stepping on corn stalks and smashing them up. And there's this guy over here, he's getting on the roof and all of them are lit with green light, which is awesome. So at night, they look creepy. And then there are those two up top there. Jet, what day is it? Is it day 53, cool puppy? Welcome to day 53 and the drywall is up. It's all up. And Mark, the lead drywaller, has started to tape all the corners. And then I think once everything's taped, that's when the mudding begins and the many coats and sanding and all that stuff. I'd love to get Mark on the vlog. He's like an expert drywaller, so I'm sure he has some fun insight to share. I haven't actually asked him yet if he wants to be part of the vlog, but super cool guy, very nice. And it's just fun to see him work and he's always up for answering questions. So it looks like Mark is all set for tomorrow. His water bucket, tools, spackle, and his stilts over here for getting the ceiling. But here it is, y'all. Here is the dry walled house. Is this crazy? It's so crazy. It's becoming a house. It's bedonkers. I can't wait for this to be gone. Look at this. It's like everything's drywalled. Walls are up. It's not quiet anymore. Now the echo is back. He's taping the corners so they're nice and sharp. And it's this material over here. It has like a metal backing on it. So it's this, these little corner pieces. And then I guess this gets wet or it's put on with spackle, I'm not quite sure. I love the fireplace. Now again, I've mentioned the hole is not gonna be that big, but it needs to be that big in order for them to install it when it comes in. It's probably gonna be like this big. That'll be the actual fireplace, and then the rest of it will be sheet rocked in. Although honestly, I don't mind that size. That size feels really, really nice, but it's also not gonna be the look that I'm going for. So once that linear fireplace is put in, it's gonna look fantastic. I just got a text. I sent um, pictures to my family of the sheetrock and Mama Potter Collector says, the vision is really starting to emerge. Yes, Mama Potter Collector, it is indeed starting to emerge. So next is gonna be flooring once drywall is done and I've been debating color. So you guys have seen the color of the old floors and originally we were gonna go for like a, here are the old floors right there. But originally we were gonna go for like a slightly richer dark walnut color, so a little bit less red than is in here. And then I saw a picture of a lighter wood, kind of similar to how the door looks now unstained. The problem is the upstairs is darker wood, so it would be kind of weird to have light wood down here and dark wood upstairs. But now that I'm seeing the drywall up and the walls are gonna be bright white, I'm thinking the darker contrast, the darker wood will be really nice. And also, in my opinion, dark wood is more timeless than light wood. And with this whole renovation, I've been like really focused on making things timeless so that when it comes time, if there's ever a time to resell the house, nothing is gonna be outdated. So if you're renovating, that's something to think about. Think about all those things. You know, you may like a current trend, but there may be something else that you like that's timeless that you're not gonna have to replace later once it's outdated. And then you can bring trendy things in, for example, like cabinet poles or even fixtures. You know, fixtures can be really expensive, but it's not as expensive as changing all of your cabinets or your countertop or, you know, having to refinish your floors because it's an outdated look. But then again, it's like, do what you wanna do. If you like a current trend and that's what you like and you're living in your house, go for it. But for me personally, I always think like investment 
and what's gonna sell if I have to sell the house. That's my little rant. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, day 54. Welcome to day 57. Wearing the uh, Potter Collector Accio box shirt. Um, this is day 57, so I haven't updated you guys in a few days. It's been a crazy weekend and few days. So a lot was happening with the Potter Collector, all good stuff. I was finishing up some other work for my computer job, and it was my sister's birthday, then it was my nephew's birthday. So I was in the city for both of those, and then my niece's baptism, so I was in the city for that. Anyway, long story short, it's a new work week. It's day 57, and a lot has changed, as you're probably noticing. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit. So a lot has changed. Everything is taped, everything has been mudded, not yet sanded, I'm not sure if Mark needs to do another coat or not. But then some other stuff happened too because we're preparing for the flooring, which is very exciting. Everything is still wet, so I don't wanna to touch it because it's nice and smooth. The ceiling too. Drywall is a lot of work. And if you do drywall, you're probably like, yeah, Peter, yeah, it is. Very impressive, like the way the, the mud is perfectly put on the walls. Obviously it needs to get sanded a little bit, but the more perfect it is, the less sanding you need. I really, really love how this turned out. The angles and everything, it just allows light to flow through. It's like one of the last nice days that's forecast for the next couple of weeks. So the door is wide open. We're still behind because Mark is the only one who's able to work on the drywall, which is very impressive, I might say. So he's scheduled to be done on Thursday and then on the schedule for Friday is priming all of the walls to prepare them to be painted after the cabinets are installed. What's cool about the priming is we will see and kind of get a glimpse of what it's gonna look like with everything white. It's gonna be so bright and just so magical. Then next week, Next week starts the flooring. I'm gonna be out of town for this weekend. You guys will see all about that. It's something Harry Potter related. I'm gonna be in New York City interviewing a duo who had a very big part in the Harry Potter movies. So you guys will see that on the Potter Collector channel. Actually, by the time this is posted, it's probably already out. So look for that. But I'm very excited for next week because floor just feels like, okay, it's really coming together. I mean, this already feels like it's coming together. And I was looking at the calendar because I have to like count every time I do a video because I don't remember, oh, did I like film yesterday? Did I skip a day? So I have to count from, I think it was the 15th of August to the current day and it's 57 days. But I was thinking to myself, oh my goodness, we've been doing this since August. Like it doesn't feel that long, which is actually a good thing. It feels like it's going really, really quickly. And I attribute that to a few things. The way that Tim and I have set up the upstairs and DeGroote construction and their cleanliness, their employees, their subcontractors, the people that work for them has made this process simple, smooth, and easy. Guys, this is not sponsored content, by the way. So if you're looking for a contractor and you're in this area, contact DeGroote Construction, D-E-G-R-O-O-T Construction, and work with these guys. They are excellent. And then mention that the Potter Collector sent you. Adam is going to have the flooring guys mix a couple stains to see the exact tone that we like best and I think he wants that to happen before I leave for New York so that's probably gonna happen the next couple days today's Monday so Tuesday Wednesday I leave Thursday so that's probably gonna happen the next couple days countertop oh totally forgot yes yeah, so um, originally picked out a countertop called Calcutta Divine it's a quartz countertop white with this thick gray veining going throughout it and you guys have heard me talk about making this space as tiny timeless as possible and felt that this was just a little bit too trendy. And there was a good chance this would go out of style sooner than later. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, just how I felt. So I went with this instead called Calcutta Venado, which looks a little bit more like marble, which is never gonna go out of style. So here is that countertop. It has veining in it, but it's a lot lighter and a little bit more kind of sporadic, which makes it look a little bit more natural. And overall decided that's gonna fit better. All right. I think that's about it for now. That's the end of day 57. It is day 58 and another coat has been applied to the drywall. Nothing really has changed with the drywall except that there's another coat on it. So nothing big to report really except for that the floor is clean and ready for the hardwood. I don't really know how much sanding is going to be necessary. Like he hasn't sanded anything yet, but Everything's really smooth. No color samples today, so this is gonna be a short update. It is day 59, and we're gonna to talk to Mark. We're gonna take a look at the stains that were just put on the floor, so like kind of the sample stains. So this one is ebony, 
That one's Jacoby and then Dark Walnut there. I have my favorite. Adam has his favorite. Leave your favorite in the comments down below and see if it was selected. So here's this section over here and then they also stained in this section by the door. So again, that's the ebony Jacoby or Jacoby or whatever and then the dark walnut. So again, leave your comments down below. We'll see if your selection was selected. Y'all, this is Mark. He is the drywall extraordinaire. Hello. Best in the biz, as Adam calls him. And as you saw from the previous days and just the smoothness of his work, I would have to agree. How long did it take to like learn how to put the mud on smooth? Yeah, it takes a while to get really adjusted to the knives and, and things. Okay. And how long have you been doing this? Probably 34 years. 34 yeah. years to learn how to yeah. put it on really smoothly. Yeah. It looks almost like you've already sanded, but yeah. you've done no sanding. Not yet. That's amazing. Yep. And the stilts, this is fun. Did that take a while to learn or are they? No, they're kind of spring activated, so it kind of acts like an ankle. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's crazy. So it's, um, so it's not bad at all. Only a few falls. <laughs> That's awesome. It is sanding day, so Mark has been here sanding and smoothing out these walls and the ceiling, and I think today is day 60. So this will be the last day I film until next week. Monday, they are doing work on the stairs, so replacing the boards, taking out this area, squaring this off. They are also fixing the floor in this space here, as well as here where the slate was, and then this area. Then on Tuesday, they stay and Wednesday, Thursday next week, they're going to coat it with the uh, polyurethane. So I will show you guys the finished primed walls in this vlog, as well as the staircase, and then we're going to end this vlog, start a new one with the staining of the floors, and then cabinets. So cast your guesses for the stain. You won't see it in this vlog, you'll see it in the next one. I gotta finish packing. It is day 65, and I just got in from New York, so we're we're gonna take a look at the primed walls as well as the staircase work and some of the new hardwood floors. So here we have the staircase, nice squared off, fantastic. And then as you're noticing, the hardwood floor has been put in, in the entrance area. Now it's not stained yet or, or sanded, but take a look at the walls and the ceilings. Nice, white, and bright. Oh, I'm so excited. So in order for the, the, the floor to kind of blend, they staggered the boards, as you're seeing, which is cool, so it blends in seamlessly. Here's the post. It's coming together. This is going really fast now, and hopefully you guys kind of see more of the vision come into life as I'm seeing the vision come to life. It's really exciting. And don't forget, leave a comment down below and let me know which stain color you think was chosen for the floors. The stair guys just left and the posts are in. The two posts on either end of the open area of the staircase, as well as the railing going up the staircase. <gasps> so here it is. There's Jet. And here is the staircase. Do, 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 do. Wow. Look at these railings. I think I mentioned in a past vlog that there will be metal, black metal bars that, that come down here. So I'm assuming it'll be one, two, three, and four. And I love that this is open. This just kind of opens the space more. You know, if this was down to the bottom, like the old staircase, it would have just closed it in more. So it's nice that that's open. And then we have the railing here, really cool transition, looks very modern. There's not one on this side, so hopefully they're not putting one on this side, but there it is. Well, that is the end of part four. Part five of the home renovations is going to be coming real soon. And what's exciting about that one is all next week, cabinets. Cabinets are being installed next week. The remainder of this week, it's going to be the hardwood floors, so they're gonna sand them, prep the already stained floors and get those ready to be stained, and then polyurethane, and then they're gonna protect the floors, and then cabinets. Crazy, cabinets, and I think trim after that. Cabinets, then trim, then paint, then like finishing touches. So things are moving really, really quickly, and I'm just, I'm excited to see the cabinets. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna definitely change the space. Once the cabinets are in, this is gonna feel a little bit more enclosed, 
but I think it'll be shocking just because we've lived with this, you know, open room for so long and that shock will go away once the beautiful cabinets are in. So, oh, look at this view. I actually didn't see this view. Look. Ooh. I just love that this is completely open now. I don't know if you guys remember from vlog number one, this whole wall here is just a little doorway to get into that space. And then this was just its own little room. But now it flows, 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 flows. The interview that I did in New York has been posted, so you can check that out here on the Potter Collector channel. So yeah, next vlog, vlog number five, a lot's gonna be happening, so keep an eye out for it. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Here are the floors. I don't know guys, I'm second guessing myself. This has been the day I've been waiting for. Very excited. Me too. <laughs> do, do, do. <gasps> Holy cow, there are some uppers. <gasps> there are some uppers on the wall. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?